what's up guys so today i'm gonna pull my secrets and ancients for 10x rotos and some of you might be wondering why i would do that and why i'm not pulling on 2x and i'm gonna explain you why i do it so first of all i'm mostly focusing on like end game arena i don't really care about like pve i have cleared all the pve content like, the only place I struggle a little bit is Nightmare Hydra, but I can get it done. And, you know, the most important champions there would be Voids, like Griscor, Atresia and Tuhanarak and so on. But basically, I mean, I don't have the biggest um, list of legendary champions, but I do have played this game for four years. So I have quite a large amount of champions, but Nothing spectacular. Or maybe it's better to show show my actual factions so you can see. Like at the end of the end of the day, like I have said before, there is only so many champions that are really important for arena. And a large amount of them are actually voids. Out of the non-voids, there is basically three champions that would make difference for me in arena. And one of them is Harima. That's kind of my most wanted champion outside of Rotos. And other than Harima, I basically want to get my plus for Rotos, which I've always been using in my defense, and nowadays it's my main offense champion as well. And it's at plus two, so I would need two more. But the only ones I really need is Harima, and two more Rotos, hopefully. Maybe I will get one today, and Duchess. And outside of that, None of the non-void champions really matter to me. Like, um, Mountain King would be one that is fun to play with. But prob probably for me, my account is so endgame, and I have other champions that I wouldn't really use him in, like, arena reset. Like, I would probably use him in, like, um, I would definitely use him in tag team arena. And maybe arena reset offense sometimes, we'll see. But he wouldn't be the biggest difference for my account. Another one fun champion to have would be Vizier. Like I could basically use him as bomb spreader. But it's not as big deal and I'm not very fast so I can't really take advantage of bombs. But I, I would definitely do it if I do get him. And let's see. Uh, Sneak Truck could be fun to play with. I have never really used him. He's a kind of new champion. But um, I don't think at least I have never seen anybody else use him on reset, so I assume he's not actually that good. But some of these kind of newer champions that I don't have would be fun to play with, but not really important. Of course, what would make difference for me is finishing my faction guardians, which are not really finished. Like, they are usually kind of like early game, or the only one that I have maxed is undead. Let me show you. Yeah, most of them are like, let's say, around like 0 to 4. Not many of them are even at 6 or 8. But Undead is luckily at 10, which is the most important faction for me. And I think on Undead I have, an, have some extras as well, yeah. So yeah, there's the long explanation why I would do this and not pull on 2x. Basically, there's only 3 champions that matter to me. And right now, the most important one is Rotos. If I could get two Rotos, my account would be set, and it would be the highest chance for me to get a trophy someday. Like, I have finished rank 2 twice, and rank 3 twice as well, and, you know, it's great, but I would really want to get at least one trophy. So, let's see how these shards go. And, like I said, I'm just gonna, like, fast pull these, because most of the champions I don't care. Hopefully, I will get a couple champions to finish Epic Dars, but outside of that, there's only <coughs> those three that I mentioned that I care about. And I don't recommend this for everybody, but maybe for some of you it's the same thing. Maybe you only want Duchess, like, maybe you have some other good void champions for defense. Yeah, fuck that. Maybe you have some other, like, good legendary void champions for defense. 
and you only need maybe like Duchess or something from Nordwoods. Like um, the Rotos is kind of like um, you need very good gear for Rotos to be very good in defense. Otherwise, you might be better off using like Mortar or something else that will work with less gear. But I have pretty good nuke gear, and my Rotos is already at plus two. So if I can get two more, it would be insane. But please give me even one more. Like this isn't the first time I pulled on Rotos 10x. I'm basically pulling on every Rotos 10x. So, and of course the chance that I get a Rotos is not high, but I would really love to see a Rotos. My void shard pulls are like insanely bad, but maybe I would have better luck with non voids for once. E even Duchess, I didn't get that long ago. I got it on summer, but or like end of summer. But another Duchess would be good as well because I basically have to use the same one for offense and defense, and it's not ideal. Like ideally, I would have one fast for offense in Stone Skin. And then another slow one in defense, either in stone skin or bolster. Yeah, not a lot of void, uh, not a lot of epic dwarf champions, and I guess two legendaries with this amount of sacred is kind of normal, or maybe even better than normal. But uh, I don't think I care about either one of those. This is definitely the most charts I have ever pulled at once. I never had this many at once. Come on, give me fucking Rotos. Okay, nice. Well, okay, I can't complain too much about it. I had good rates, 3 out of 27 or whatever. It's good. And Mountain King I will definitely use. Maybe even on recent, but definitely I will use in my tag teams. Nice. Mag <laughs> this is funny thing. I also didn't have Magnar. This is kind of funny. I really wanted uh, Magnar to, be, to make epic only um, arena reset push video, which I will definitely do now that I have Magnar. I think I can do it and it will be very good, you know, clickbait for my channel and maybe get some attention. And I don't, I don't think I have ever seen anybody do it or try to do it. And I, I think I can do it, so I will go for it. I mean, I have some other ideas that I could have done without Magnar, but I came to conclusion that Magnar is the best shot and I wouldn't want to do multiple tries of it. Like, I want to do it once and then keep doing my normal platinum push, so... Because the trophy is the main goal for me, of course. Uh, let's see... Maybe we can get one more void and... Uh, one more legendary and the raids would be very good. I mean, I'm still kind of disappointed because in the back of my head I was always hoping to get a Rotos, but I have pulled many, for many of these Rotos 10 axes and I don't ever manage to get one and like I don't have enough shards to expect to get one anyway. Come on, let's see one Rotos. But yeah, I mean, I did get three legendaries from the sacred, so it's kind of very good rates for 10x. Yeah, and some of you might not like this, so <laughs> you can um, look off screen now, but I'm just gonna squash some... Uh, let me check. I think I'm just gonna squash those rares because my vault is already full and I don't really need chickens, it's not a big deal to me. I don't um, level up champions to 6 star outside of uh, fusion champion training events. Like, I only do it for the points anyway, so... It it's so rare that I get a champion that I actually want to use, so... It happens maybe like twice a year, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna grunts a bunch of them but yeah I mean Magnar and Mountain King is kind of uh, better than I should have expected to be honest so it is what it is maybe I will make some videos about them later or I mean I will definitely try to do that epic only but push with Magnar 
but maybe maybe with Mountain King as well. It, it's something I have kind of used a bit on uh, takeovers I did to others, and some of them have really liked it. Like I've been using it both for offense and defense. And for my account, maybe I will not use it in defense, but um, I might try it in offense as my second nuker. Even if not against all teams, but like some teams. Like the good thing about Mountain King, like he's kind of um, never used nowadays, and he used to be considered very good. But like he has the, like he has very high base HP, and he also does have very good multipliers, or like used to. But like Taras has way better ones nowadays. But compared to the old HP nukers, he had way better than everybody else. But he does have ignore defense and pretty good multipliers. And you can even build him in bolster and he will still be able to kill people and also act as like support. And I might do that, I will see. I think I have I might have a good bolster set for Nuki. I have to check later. Was that enough? Do I have enough room? Yeah, looks like so. Okay, come on, let's see one fucking Rotos. That that would make my day. Just give me one Rotos, that's it. Come on, Rotos, Rotos. Uh, well, I mean, the raids I had were insane for fucking... Th oh, come on, Rotos, Rotos. Ah, uh, fuck my life. Dude, I had so good raids for 10x, but I don't care about these champions. Only thing I wanted is Rotos, and... <sighs> yeah, I guess it's too much to ask. I mean, <laughs> expecting to get a champion at plus 4 is kind of, you know, a lot, but... I already have plus two Rotos and I have gotten three in total, so I only need two more, so I'm definitely gonna keep pull pulling on this Roton Rotos 10 axis. Uh, let's see, should I... Nah, I'm not gonna buy them with gems. Let's pull this last five. But yeah, th this is definitely the biggest chart pulling I have ever done, by far. Oh my god, another... <laughs> Oh my god, I had so insane raids on this. Did I just pull like six legendaries? I think that's like <laughs> way better than I should expect on 2x. And I got a fucking Xavia, but not Rotos. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. I shouldn't complain, but that's kind of a big like cock tease to me. Fuck my life. Uh, let's see. One, two. This I already had, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah, six legendaries. Holy shit! And I guess I got a lot of um, faction guardian progress as well. And yeah, Mountain King I will definitely use. Yeah, I guess that's it for this video, and I guess this shard pulling gave me some content for future videos but um, thanks a lot for watching and on weekend I will have another champion guide. I'm not sure if it's gonna be ready on Saturday or Sunday yet because I'm gonna be traveling today and not home. But see you later guys.